Hey guys, today I'm going to show you two TIG techniques other than your traditional straight current dipping techniques that you can use to get different looks and profiles out of your welds. And that would be the lay rod technique and the pedal pulsing technique. So let's get into it. All right, so when I was a stainless steel TIG welder and I was working in a shop that was building uh, vacuum chambers and valves, we were welding a lot of big chambers um, out of thick stainless steel. And when we were doing fillet welds and even uh, groove welds and stuff like that, um, sometimes we need to do multi-pass welding to get the proper profiles in our welds. And so uh, I'm going to show you on some thicker stainless steel material. We have some uh, about 532nd uh, thick stainless steel. And I'm going to show you how to do the lay rod technique, um, which you can get some, some totally acceptable profiles on a single pass. Um, on thinner material using this the same technique. But what I used it for was putting down root passes first and then going over the top of it, um, you know, with a second pass to uh, be able to get a larger size weld and get a good profile that wasn't too concave. So the first technique I'm gonna show you is what we call lay rod, which means that you aren't dipping the filler metal. You're just pushing this filler metal with a very slight constant pressure into the weld pool as you're advancing the torch forward. Okay, so I'm gonna show you that one first. Okay, so for the lay rod technique, um, I need to make sure that I have my angles correctly. There's gonna be a definite sweet spot where everything's gonna flow nicely. You know, your filler metal is gonna flow into your weld pool and you're gonna be able to just push it in slightly as you advance the torch forward and everything will be flowing nicely if you have your angles right. So that means that you need your 20 degree push angle approximately and that's what tends to get out of whack as you continue through your joint. You might have the tendency to turn your wrist and end up at a more uh, pronounced push angle. And that's what's going to mess up, uh, you know, this, the, the flow of your um, filler metal into the weld pool. So as you start to go forward, if you see that you start to kind of lose that nice flow, uh, that nice smooth flow, it's usually because you're advancing your torch too far forward. So be really careful to keep that 20 degree push angle locked in. And then of course your work angle this way needs to stay at that 45 degrees to the T-joint here, okay? And uh, just make sure that as you advance forward that you're keeping a slight forward push into that weld pool of your filler metal. So I'm using 150 amps on this thicker stainless steel. I'm using 150 amps and 332nd filler metal, 304 filler metal, or sorry, 308 filler metal on this 304 plate, okay? All right, let's give it a shot. like butter. So we can see that if we keep our angles consistent, our pressure pushing forward of the flow of the filler metal into the weld pool, that we can get this really nice smooth bead. And uh, you know, if you, if you were calling for like an eighth inch fillet weld, this would be a totally acceptable profile and uh, you know, size for a, a fillet weld of that size. But if we're getting up into the larger size uh, welds, you know, like a quarter inch or three eighths or something like that with TIG, um, we, you know, we might have to do multiple passes. And that's where this next technique comes in, um, where I'm gonna go over the top of it with the pedal pulsing technique. So these two techniques can be used, uh, you know, by themselves or in conjunction with each other. 
um, you know, to get different results. Um, I'm just showing you the actual technique of doing both of them. So you could even use these on thinner materials if you wanted. Okay, so next up will be the pedal pulsing technique. All right, so for the pedal pulsing technique, basically what we're gonna be doing is simulating a pulser. So we will have a high amperage that we're pressing down on the pedal to get to, and that's the point where we're going to add our filler metal is at the high pulse or all the way down on the pedal. And then as we transition to the background amperage, which is by letting off the pedal almost all the way, then we're gonna move the torch forward. So we're gonna dip on the high amperage and then we're gonna move the torch forward on the low amperage. Dip on the high amperage and then move it forward on the low amperage. And so that's gonna be our technique. And that's how we're gonna get this nice dime look to our, our weld. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. Alright, so that's my pedal pulsing technique. You can see that we have this dime look every time that I high pulsed and added filler metal, and then we just move forward on the low side of the pulse each time. Uh, this is a great technique for uh, getting a nice, uh, uh, you know, consistent appearance to the weld and getting that nice dime look. It does slow you down a little bit. I was using 170 amps to make sure that I can get those edges to wet out quickly and move forward. Uh, but it does overall, that, that pulsing on and off kind of slows down your travel speed versus a straight current where you're just dipping and moving forward. Um, so um, overall, it'll slow you down a little bit. You'll get more heat input into the part but if you use a high enough amperage to where you're moving quickly um, and you don't have to wait for that um, weld pool to wet out on the edges, uh, you know, you can still keep your, your travel speed up enough um, to get fairly good color out of your welds. Okay, so hopefully this is helping you. I know a lot of people just kind of like this, the look of this, uh, of the pedal pulsing technique. So I wanted to do a video on it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out to put more uh, quality uh, content out there. All right, thanks. See you next time.